gentlemen, Miss America 2010 is Miss Virginia Caressa Cameron. Take your first walk, my dear. Caressa Cameron was just giggling watching that. Miss America 2010, how are you? I am Caressa, well, thank you? you so much. Is it much. different every time you rewatch that moment? You know, it's still something that I watch and I'm just like, oh my goodness. And I realize how long that pause was. Like it was long when I was up there, but even <laughs> when you're viewing it, it still is kind of a long pause. Well, and you, when you saw your mom, you're like, oh, mom. <laughs> no, when I saw my mom, my first thought, because my dad, he's always very put together. He's always, he's always like the, you know, the calm to her fire. Yeah. My first thought was, if you go back and you rewatch the clip, she has on tennis shoes and oh, her cute little cocktail dress. She has on these white I didn't know she's got the secre sneakers. <laughs> the secretary uniform. And she was like, because her feet were hurting so bad that day, that she, and she forgot in all the excitement to put her good shoes back that on. That is just so about the same thing I've ever heard. <laughs> so so here she comes thing. walking to the stage in her little so white cute. kids. And That's I'm like, oh. What is that moment for you like? I mean, obviously, you put a lot of work into this. And, and Fiona asked, actually, maybe we'll back up a little bit, because Fiona asked uh, before we uh, started the interview whether you had been involved in pageants uh, a lot in your life. Life, and the yeah. answer is somewhat surprising. Yeah, I did one pageant when I was seven called Someday I Miss America. Uh, but I have, all, I have yeah. all brothers. And so I was very much a tomboy, you know, wore hand-me-downs and just got made fun of a lot because I had a unibrow and sideburns and glasses and braces and just <laughs> awfulness. Um, but as I came into myself and discovered who I was, and it was actually as a result of another Miss Virginia coming into my school and talking about being the person that you want to be and not the person that other people uh, have told you that you are, um, I got involved in drama, got involved in chorus, and that kind of kept opening doors for me. And I was walking in the mall, and there was a, a like, a little brochure for the Miss Fredericksburg Fair pageant, Junior Miss Fredericksburg Fair. And, and so this at is the when time, you were 14? I'm like 14. And I'm like, so what's the prizes, you know? And my yeah, mom's like, well, I just think you should do this. And so the prizes was like free funnel cake and passes to the fair. And I'm like, yeah, yeah. yeah. This, this is where I need to be. <laughs> where do, <laughs> so I, where do sign? I sign up? And so what was pretty awesome was I won that, but I had already been really involved in community service and that sort of thing. And so it allowed me the opportunity to keep doing community service. Yeah. And I won scholarship in the process. And so being that the pageant world is kind of small, um, I was then introduced to the Miss America organization upon my senior year of high mm -hmm. school, and they were like, it's a scholarship pageant, you can use the talents you already have, the community service stuff you've already been doing, and go for it. And you've been doing, you obviously very talented, uh, you are a fantastic Incredible singer, Thanks. and you do a lot of charity work as well with the Children's Miracle Network. Maybe you can tell us about what you do with them, because it yeah. is amazing. Absolutely. Well, the Children's Miracle Network is a band of 170 hospitals that serve over 17 million kids. And so what I do as the Goodwill Ambassador for the Children's Miracle Network is I raise money for these kids. We take them on trips. We're getting ready to go to Disney World. And and these kids, you have them throughout the year. They're the same kids. The Miracle Kids are the same kids. They're picked every year. However, I spend time in hospitals all across the country. And so I get to yeah. meet a lot of the kids who benefit firsthand from the monies that are raised for the Children's Miracle Network. And is this how you met uh, Obama? This is how we had the opportunity to meet President Mr. Obama. President Mr. President. Mr. President. Um, Obama. We, <laughs> Obama. Obama. We had the pleasure of actually taking our kids on a White House <laughs> tour and How's we took a that? tour around Washington and all the kids got to come and meet him and take a photo with him and they let us tour around the White House a little bit so that was a wonderful time it was 57 kids I think we took with what us. What a great day that so, was. So you couple awesome. all this uh, the work with the Children's Miracle Network with your own cause as well and something that you're very passionate yeah, about. Yeah my personal platform is that of HIV and AIDS. Um, I lost my uncle when I was very young uh, to AIDS and I also my family has cared for a foster child who had juvenile age from birth and so as a result of the Children's Miracle Network and what they do in their infectious disease unit and blood disorders units um, they have been working with a lot of kids who have juvenile AIDS and so I've been able to kind of parlay the two relationships together yeah. um, as well as some other things I've had been able to partner with the CDC for little campaigns I'll get to do AIDS walk soon so Amazing. it's, it's but awesome this is the work. great thing about being Miss America is you really you do platform, get a platform yeah. to speak about things that you really care absolutely about. and I think what's so important you know, for our Miss Americas and for the state title holders and people who hold these titles abroad is that, you know, 
in a day and age when there are so many young people looking for positive influences to find those in their Miss Americas or in their Miss Canada, um, it's important for us to be that for someone to say, you know, we can look up to somebody for doing all the right things. Yeah. And it is cool. Brilliant. And so I'm just glad that I have this opportunity. Well, we got to talk about some of the fun stuff. Okay, yeah. well. can we talk we about the we crown? We can talk about the crown. Um, what's unique about this crown? Well, first of all, I do get to keep it because people always ask me that. Do you get to keep ah, the crown? That this was is be my mine question. forever. Um, each girl will get her own. Um, you and ever just walk around with it on? Like, when you're at home? <laughs> I would wear that on. Like, TV. Well, I'm never really home, but right. maybe next year I might just. You know, the next time then. you have to wait throw an airport, it on. you should put that thing <laughs> on. Throw the crown. Yeah, but then I might not get through the line. <laughs> so what do these things mean? Like, Well, the four points of the crown it. all stand for something. The four pillars that the organization stands for is service, success, scholarship, and style. And so those are the four points of the crown that you will always see no matter who the Who's crown is crowned. Where the crown um, is made. Th there will be four points on the crown, and the state and local titles have the four points as well. And so um, nice. it's an amazing little piece now of history. Now we have history. to start, I mean, there's so many great things that come with being Miss America and uh, of course you get the crown but the beautiful clothes Absolutely. that you get to wear. We have I have to talk a about fantastic the to Canada. wardrobe sponsor in Joseph Ribkoff and uh, what's amazing is this stuff is travel ready which is so important to me because I don't have time to iron a lot. How many how many days are you spending in the air this I year? Am, it's insane. I travel 20,000 miles a month so <laughs> a month. I'm always yeah I'm always somewhere and so to have something that's ready to wear. Fashion forward. No matter, fashion yeah. forward no matter where I am if I I can travel in this and be fine, you know, and so or you can travel right. like this. And a coat dress. I really, really loved that coat Have dress. Have you always loved fashion? Has this always been a well, you mentioned well, hand-me-downs <laughs> yeah, and you did exactly. all this stuff. I so. loved fashion when I was able to get into fashion. Yeah, I was Absolutely. Say, so it must be such a treat, right? I mean, yeah, to, it is such a treat to have the wardrobe you know, come into me and it's always something that is just like, oh, great. Christmas. You know, it's, it's <laughs> like Christmas in a box every time the box shows up. And so <laughs> I'm so I'm so honored to have them because it takes a lot of the worry and the, the stress out of my life yeah. um, and that's what we all want in our wardrobe pieces we want something that is not Easy. stressful something we do not have to think as about as soon as I have that's to iron no it I'm like, like I can't do it without it anymore right exactly. ironing all that stuff is like tap out absolutely man, and so as you know it's great that sometimes I get the pieces a little bit ahead of time and so people can be like so what are you wearing and you know this is things that were coming out you know like what I have on today it's great beautiful. for the holiday season yeah. you know we're getting nice. ready to go to those Thanksgiving and Christmas party season. can you get this from Thanksgiving we this weekend <laughs> five five pay periods away from Christmas so oh. so if you haven't if you haven't been five thinking about that that's listen I've really never heard it broken down into pay Michael, periods if you were much prepared much maybe you'd be so. Miss America I love it I Thank just you. know that I already got warned that You're not no allowed to one wear it. is allowed you, to wear I'm that allowed crown. to touch it. Well, we let no. the little girls wear the crown because they really, is he really. Close <laughs> Really? <laughs> Caressa, thank you so much and congratulations thank you. on all thank your you great work. Thank if you, you want to find me. more about Ribkoff and where you can find it locally, you can go to the website, which is on the screen for you right now. Lovely work. Thank, thank you so you much. So really much. You. <laughs> We're going to take a break. When we come back, a uh, couple of film, well, a filmmaker and an actor joining us, uh, Terry Miles and Ty Running, to talk about their new film, A Night for Dying Tigers. It's part of VIF. It's amazing. We'll be right back with them. Stick around.